Here I am with Paul's hexacopter, and as we can see here, we have the motor spinning at around 10,000 RPM. And it may seem strange that I would know that it's around 10,000 RPM, but we're using the light, this other light that Josh is holding right there, to precisely time the motor. And you can see that originally it looked kind of like a blur, but now you can see the motor moving ever so slowly. In fact, you can even kind of see just a little bit of rotation on the shaft, and that's because of the imbalances in the motor. So hopefully Paul here, this hexacopter, is going to be able to use this information to balance out this motor a little bit more closely. Now one of the things that can help us understand where exactly that is, is we have an accelerometer mounted to the underside here that's taking all of the readings of the acceleration data and correlating it to the flashing of the light right here. This allows us to take very good data insofar as being able to watch the data as it goes around on the screen. So what we have is as the, the main body of this approaches the top of the screen, that means that it's the part of the motor that's approaching the center of the hexacopter. So Josh is just playing with the, the speed a little bit to try to get it to stabilize some. Now that we see it towards the bottom uh, area right here, we know that it's that part of the motor that's spinning around, that's, I guess it's leaning towards the front now, and we're gonna be able to figure out, okay, we're probably gonna have to pull the motor back a little bit. So, this is how we're going to be trying to use some of this strobing light and accelerometers to uh, figure out how to balance these motors.